One, two, three, four. There you have it, the one, five, four chord progression in the key of A. Again, this is one of the most important chord progressions that you'll ever come across. My name is Brian Parham and I'm the founder of The Rock Dojo in Portland, Oregon, where I teach kids between the ages of six and 12 years old how to rock on the guitar in after school classes. Now, this chord progression comes from the A major scale. That scale is spelled A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. It's not really important. The scale degrees are probably more important. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. And so to find the one, five, and four chords, we just count up one, two, three, four, five. So the first one that we have is of course one, which is the A chord. Then we have the five chord, one, two, three, four, five, which is the note E, which means we're gonna have a E major chord there. So we already have the one chord A, the five chord, E, now all we need is the four chord, one, two, three, four. And that note is a D. And that's your four chord. I'm gonna put back on my distortion. And to make those easier to play for kids, we're gonna turn those into open chords, just like I played in the intro. We're gonna play the A chord. This is probably the coolest and easiest guitar chord of all, because you just take one finger, your index finger, boom, plant it on the Dynamite, good, and by strings, that's D, G, B, on the second fret, and you just hold down, and you strum from the open A, the D, the G, and the B, those four strings. That's your A chord, and then the chord progression is one, five, four, we're gonna do the A chord twice, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. From there, we're gonna switch to the five chord, which is a super easy to play E chord, looks like this. I have my pointer finger on the first fret of the good string, the G string. I'm going to take my ring finger, that's this one, excuse me. Ring finger is going to be on the second fret of the dynamite string, the D string, and then I'm going to take my middle finger, I'm going to put it on the same fret, but on the A string. So the second fret of the A string, I strum those all together. And that's your... D chord, or E chord, excuse me, E is in any chord. So, so far we have A chord, or the, we'll call it the Roman numeral one. One, one, to the five chord, five. This is your five chord, five. Now all we're, doing, we're missing is the four chord, which as you remember is a D chord. This one is a little bit tricky. I think of it, I kind of like to think of it as a pyramid. It's gonna take a minute to get this chord if you haven't been practicing it, but essentially you take your middle finger, you put it on the second fret of the Eddie 8 Dynamite Good by Eddie strings, the high E string. So middle finger, second fret of the Eddie string, highest. Then you take your pointer finger and put it on the second fret of the good string, G. Finally, you take your ring finger and put it on the third fret of the D string. You have this kind of little pyramid right here a triangle and strum those down from the D string, D G string, G string, B string, high E string. And that's your D chord. Now when you put it all together using our common hot dog rhythm, you got one, two, three, four, A, A, E, E, finish on A. And there you have it, the one, five, four chord progressions, one of the most fundamental, fundamental, excuse me, uh, popular and common chord progressions in all of music. Good luck. And remember, the more you practice, the better you get, the better you get, and the more you practice, rock.